All right. Hey, everybody. Nice to see you here. I'm doing a quick little video going inside my Backer Club member profile just to show you guys what uh, it's like. And in the comics launch episode that you likely just listened to or listened to recently, we really went inside Backer Club to just talk all about uh, what it is, you know, and and how it works. But uh, I, I always <laughs> find that uh, sometimes taking a look inside gives a, a greater look at it. So let's uh, let's just take a look at what Backer Club looks like right now. This right now it's uh, March twelfth, two thousand and sixteen, at about four forty nine p.m. So you see, when I log in, the first thing front and center is projects, and you see. Um, they have their the row of featured projects these are likely going to be big money projects or projects that look like they're going to raise a lot of funding uh often these are tech projects but you can see there's a cross-section technology design crafts fashion uh technology design technology fashion um, these are the big things. And as I scroll down you'll one thing you will notice is that there's not a single comic book project on the front page. But if I did want to find projects, uh, notice I can filter by site. I can go to Indiegogo. I can go to Kickstarter. I'm uh, pre preferential to Kickstarter, so I'm going to search by that. And then you can also search by category. So these are sort of all, all the categories that you'll find on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. So let's crank up the comics one, as that's my area. I can also put in keywords here to find projects. Um, but let's uh, let's see what we have when I search by comics and Kickstarter. So as you can see, here's what comes up. And uh, from this area, uh, here's our, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a closer look. Um, but as you'd see, there's really only one project that's a comics project on Backer Club right now. It's this Heroes Ignited 56 page co anthology comic. And as I'm looking at it now, uh, you see when you click on it within Backer Club, what you can see front and center is that you can see how many Backer Club supporters this comic has had, what uh, amount of funds has come from Backer Club members, and how long this project has to go. Um, you'll notice that I actually backed this project. I backed it for $1 just to see what that was like. And you'll see that uh, every Backer Club project that's featured on Backer Club has a special reward for Backer Club members. So you'll see that this reward for this project is Backer Club members who pledge $20 to $35 will get an automatic upgrade to their next tier reward beyond what you pledge up to the $50 level. So as far as I know, Backer Club creators who decide to post their project on Backer Club can put whatever they like here in the reward for Backer Club members. So a comic project, you'll see that there's also more information about this project that you can do. This is the kind of stuff that would be similar to what's on the Kickstarter page. Um, you're also, if you haven't backed the project, uh, there's a link that will take you to the project that you can then back. So I'm just going to go navigate back. And as you can see, these are some other past projects uh, that have been on Backer Club before. One thing that I'm noticing is that uh, all but one of these projects actually was funded. Um, so these are funded projects, but uh, not every project. In fact, there were a number of projects that uh, were funded, but Backer Club didn't play a big part in that. So for example, let's take a look at this project. You'll see this project, it had seven Backer Club supporters and they pledged a total of $81. So uh, technically the Backer Club deal is that for, for $379, you can put your project on Backer Club, but if they don't raise at least that much money, you won't be charged. That's uh, what their, their uh, pitch says. So I'm taking it that this project wasn't charged for those backers that they were raised. Now, this is this here project. Um, this one, a tribute to Star Wars by David G. Forrest. Uh, this is a essentially a sci-fi Star Wars limited edition Star Wars fan book. Um, this is one that actually did uh, have a significant um, reach from uh, Kickstarter. Um, what does translate do? That's just interesting. Um, yeah, so you'll see that um, this one actually did have a significant number of backers, 35 and uh, 1,308 euros. That's that's real money. So um, 
again, that's just something that uh, to keep in mind. So that was an example of a project in the comics category that was helped by Backer Club. So this is sort of how that works. Um, look at my profile. You'll see here's my profile over here. I, I'm a two star member. I can view my badge and I have the opportunity to download this badge here if I want to add it to my social media profiles. I don't particularly, but uh, they make it easy to do that. Here's edit pledge amounts. So when you, so this, the, also in my profile, they show all the back, backer club projects that I supported and I have the ability to edit pledge amounts. So this is how backer club knows what I've done. Um, I mean, it looks like I can go in here and put $99 and save that. And if I do that, you would dump that your all their pledges. Okay. So I just, I've only backed this project for a buck. Um, I just went and edited my pledge amounts to say that I backed it for $99. I'm curious, and I'm actually doing this live. I don't know if it's going to update um, Kickstarter. Let's search for those comic projects again. Okay, and click on here. And yeah, so I just changed the amount that I backed this project for. I said I backed for uh, $99 and it's showing now that this just boosted up to $300, but I didn't actually put $99. So that's something that I'm flagging as a little bit suspicious. It looks like unlike some programs, I know Kickbooster has a way of knowing how much I actually how much you actually pledged, but it looks like Backer Club is relying on backer submitted um amounts, pledge amounts uh, on the honor system. I'm not sure how they go and uh, go ahead and verify this. So that's something that I'm flagging as something I want to find out more about. Okay. Um, just continuing our tour uh, lounges. Again, this thing, nothing, there's nothing here, but apparently if you're in different, different uh, um, badge levels, there's different things that would show up there with additional backer perks. Um, here's the big thing for where the backer club sort of uh, referral program works. You'll see that there are three ways that backer club backers can actually earn money for spreading the backer club and, and referring other members to backer club. You can earn $70 on Kickstarter or $50 on Indiegogo if you are a backer club if you refer a project to Backer Club, and every project will get its own Backer Club uh, unique trackable link. Um, so if people come through this link, then it will add this to my account in Backer Bucks. Um, there's another site, I'm not sure what it does. I'll have to dig into that later. Uh, Crosspromote.co, if you promote that site and people sign up for that, um, you'll get a $10 credit to your Backer Bucks account. And then uh, if you invite members, you'll have uh, members who have at least five projects backed and they join Backer Club, you will earn uh, $4 and there's no limit to how many you can uh, invite. So that's uh, the Backer Club referral program. Now on my profile, I understand that when you start earning Backer Bucks, that stuff will show up over here. I haven't referred anybody. No one's come through any of my, my links, so I don't have any backer bucks. But there are some people that definitely have referred people. And this is something that they put up is the backer club referral board. So you can see this is essentially uh, inside. We've got um, some backers and how much they've earned. You see the top backer here is a seven star member. He's backed over a thousand projects. He's recruited one backer club member and 23 backer club projects in the month of March for a total commission of $1,205. Uh, if we look at our all time recruiting board, you'll see that the top recruiter for a backer club has earned over $12,000, um, recruited 237 projects. Next up is 8,062. After that, 6,000 drops pretty precipitously after that. Um, but again, it's clear that there are some backer club members that have <laughs> earned a, you know, a decent side hustle in, in uh, promoting this club and getting people to actually sign up. Completing uh, the tour uh, is the backer club forum. And you'll see we click on this and we go to our board index. And this is a standard um, classic 
uh, ho- hosted forum, PBP, BB, which is pretty popular forum software. And you'll see there's places for backer, backers to introduce themselves. There's Kickstarter discussion going on, Indiegogo discussion going on, backer club discussion going on, and, and some private lounges. And I understand this is likely where if you are a creator, uh, you would go and talk about how things work uh, in backer club. You would also potentially, if you're a Kickstarter creator, you would might go into Kickstarter comp. I might go into comics and here's where I might post my project. Uh, and, and as they sort of say, or recommend with backer club, they encourage you to post your project even before you launch, get some backer feedback, ask about pledge rewards, ask about cool, ask for feedback. And, uh, ideally if it works and if there's a community here, um, you might get some good feedback from people that have been around the Kickstarter and Indiegogo block and know a thing or two about backing projects. So that's the forum. And then finally, there's a help or uh, help section over here. Uh, load that up and they break it down help for backers help for creators so these explain this is basically an faq so how the backer club system works how the special perks and backer bucks works you can see you can earn backer bucks uh in a number of ways you can withdraw backer bucks to paypal anytime you want uh more than 50 dollars in your balance there's no fee but if you want to withdraw less than 50 dollars uh, there's a $10 fee. So obviously uh, you're going to want to keep money in there until you have $50 or more. Um, and they sort of encourage that as well. There's some FAQs for creators. Let's take a look at uh, what information is in there. Oh, oh, you know what? It looks like they logged me out because because I'm not a creator, perhaps, or maybe there's a, a limit on how long I can be in here. Let's, uh, that's a that's a good question. So anyway, that that was a little buggy. Um, this is actually uh, this is the sign up again. I'm not sure why it took me back here. Um, so yeah, either that was a little bug, or they uh, they booted me out because I'm not a creator. Um, but I think that's a good enough overview of the Backer Club platform. You've got a peek inside and you can make the decision for yourself whether or not Backer Club is right for you. If you'd like to use our Backer Club referral links, please go to comicslaunch.com forward slash Backer Club. And that way you can track through us and we will get a little uh, kickback on that (laughs) and help us sort of pay for the things that we do at Comics Launch. All right. Thanks for taking a look.